Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into a good one today. Liam Davies and Eric Robles, uh, which is going to be a really fun fight, a difficult fight to handicap, but I'm going to show you how to make money on it. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently uh, make money betting on the sport of boxing, how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. We're going to show you how to make money. We do it every single week. What we 17 and 4, I think, the last four weeks. Is that what it was? 17 and 4. There's no one else that can do it like that. The, the bookies, the, the odds makers, they don't know how to handicap a fight. I do. And I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, so make sure to uh, join, uh, follow me as well. Join the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon gets you the lock of the week. The lock of the week will drop later today. Uh, the lock of the week, you know, we don't miss. We hit it last week again. We make money every single week. This is a stone cold lock. It doesn't miss. Uh, join the boxing bookie. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the, the lock, the, the Patreon, just five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you uh, the free T-shirt. It gets you a ton of other perks. You can ask the boxing bookie anything. Ask me to handicap a fight. I'll handicap it for you. A ton of other stuff. A ton of perks. Just five dollars a month. It doesn't cost money. It makes money because the lock of the week is going to make you many, 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 many hundreds of times that. Uh, so join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, it's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Liam Davies, 15 and 0, seven knockouts, but he's right a little bit of a hot streak with the with the stoppages. Liam Davies is, is, is a fighter I like a lot. See, I can like a British fighter. It's, it's not impossible. I think Liam Davies is an excellent fighter. I think he's a world-level prospect. And this is a big test for him. This will be the biggest test of his career. Uh, so let's get to Liam Davis a little bit. He won his last fight. He, he stopped Vincenzo La Femina, another undefeated prospect out of Italy, in five rounds. And before that, he had a first-round stoppage of Jason Cunningham. Prior to that, he had three straight wins uh, that went the distance. And then you, know, you saw a, a major drop-off in, in, in competition. He's not a big hitter, but he has a little bit of pop. He's not feather-fisted. He doesn't just run. Let's get into him. Throws with, with good intention. Okay, he's not slapping shots. He's not just looking to score like so many British fighters who I can't stand. He likes to be in the middle of the ring. He keeps his range, maintains distance really well. That's going to be his key to victory. Works behind the jab. Typical British fighter in that sense. Fundamentally sound. Works behind the jab. You know, relatively high guard. But he puts good combinations together. Rips good, furious combinations. He goes to the body. He really commits to his shots. He's not like that, that kind of amateurish British style where he's fundamentally sound and he's just looking to sc score here and there and 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 go the this he's not like that he's a little bit more to him uh, so he can you know he can hurt people that's why you've seen this little knockout streak he, he's committing to his shots really good lead left hook good thump on his jab so he's got a little bit of hurt behind his punches avoid shots pretty well really really good managing distance getting in Staying away, controlling the range, really good at it. Good counter puncher, uh, especially from long range. He's, you know, a little bit of a sniper from long range, and he and he, if he catch you reaching. He can he can get you to throw shots that help counter. He can set traps for you. He's pretty good. Stays calm and controlled. He doesn't get frazzled when you attack him. When you pressure him, he stays calm. You're not going to engage him into a war, and that's I think is crucial in the Robles fight. He said he's accurate from long range. That, that's where he wants to be. He wants this fight at long range. If he can keep it there, he's gonna he's gonna win this fight. Now, this is an easy fight. Robles is, is a tough a tough customer. He's a good fighter himself. He throws well off the back foot. If he can go backwards, if he can maintain the range, that's how he wins this fight. Eric uh, Robles, southpaw, typical Mexican fighter. He's long too. He's got, he's got a wide base, high-volume guy. He keeps punching. Wants to fight on the inside. So we're going to have this, that contrast of styles here. Really good combination puncher on the inside. 
he throws, he's got some flaws. He throws wide shots from the outside. A lot of what he throws is wide. A good counter puncher like Davies can have might be able to have a field day with him, countering him. He also jabs him up close in the mid-range, which, which is a no-no. Don't do not do that. He does it all the time. It's, he's got these bad habits and these like glaring flaws. But he's nonstop swarming. And so he makes up so much of his flaws and his errors and his shortcomings. He makes up with just nonstop swarming and punching, body punches. He, he's just like a gnat. He's on you, and, he, and he's throwing shots. It's going to be, can he overcome his shortcomings? And you can see sometimes his volume in the middle rounds, the later rounds, starts to fade. Starts to fade. If you can get him on the outside, he's not particularly good on the outside. Right? And you can see as he tires, he's more willing to kind of stay on the outside. If he does that, he's not going to be able to win this fight. He's got to get on the inside. He's got to do what he did to Lee McGregor. In the McGregor fight, McGregor was willing to stand in with Trey with him much too long, and that's why McGregor lost. I can't see Liam Davies doing that. So although I see this as a very, very competitive fight, I ultimately think that this is a, a Davies fight. Stylistically, I just think Davies is better. I think Davies can execute his game plan more than Robles can execute his. So let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. All right, here it is. Here's the book. Let me pause this for one second. Okay, here's the bet we're going to make. Liam Davies is minus 240. I don't love this, but Davies is going to win the fight, I think. So we're only I, – I don't like these odds. These odds are way too wide. If anything, it should be close to a pick em fight. Um, so Davies on the money line minus 240. We're going to bet – have a bet on that. And we're going to be – a $50 bet, okay, in this case. So it makes you 2083. Then over 10 and a half, I like this fight's going the distance. Neither guy's a massive puncher. I, I don't see it, 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 both guys are, are rugged. I really like the over. So we're going to bet a one times bet on that, and that's minus 175. So that's going to make us $57.14. So a $150 bet combined, 50 on Liam, 100 on the over, is going to make us 70. Uh, 70 Seventy-eight dollars, we'll call it, right? So we really were able to bring down the odds there of this thing going the distance. Uh, this thing goes the distance. So it's a, a half times bet, a fifty dollars bet that'll make us twenty eighty-three on Liam Davies on the money line, and then the over under Robles ten and a half minus one hundred, uh, minus one seventy-five makes us uh, fifty-seven fourteen. So all in all, we're, we're making seventy-eight dollars on this bet. Where we're getting, we're wagering just uh, we're wagering one fifty, so we're wagering one fifty to make seventy eight dollars, and I, I think this is safe. This should make you money. Lock it up. I really like the over, and I'm pretty confident that Liam Davies gets the decision here, outworks him, um, keeps him out range, wins the fight off the back foot. So this is a pretty fu good fight um, to make some money on. Guys, like, follow, and subscribe. Uh, the boxing book, he comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, we always use DraftKings. DraftKings has got a good book. It's got uh, pretty user-friendly. The odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Join the Patreon as well. It's $5 a month. Unlocks all the features. Get the lock of the week. Ask the boxing book anything. I'll handicap any fight. Handicap any fight that you want. Try to make money any fight that you want. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 14th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.